In this video I will demonstrate how to do a an entity framework uh, data first uh, a CRUD operations uh, application. To begin I'm going to uh, start a new project of type ASP.NET MVC4 and I will call this uh, EF um, CRUD test 2. It will do a standard internet application here. So um, <clears throat> first let's uh, create a database uh, connection and I will connect to my local host and we will use uh, uh, SA account which is a SQL account. Let's pick this uh, database called customers and say OK. It will go through and it will establish a connection for us. And uh, I will right click on the project, add new item, and here I will select a data node and select ADO.NET uh, entity data model and I will call this um, customers uh, same as the database name basically and uh, we will generate it from the database and yes include all the uh, information in the connection string and uh, customers uh, entities um, is fine I would call it customers however just to shorten it a bit and uh, I will call this also customers and uh, I have to uh, select the table which is uh, my contact table which I previously created in SQL and it contains uh, uh, several columns uh, uh, such as uh, first name, last, middle and last name, address, city, state, zip and country so we're selecting those and say finish. Ah, okay. So it looks like um, customers. Uh, yeah, customers model is fine. I guess um, it doesn't like to to be called the same thing. So it will go through and it will create a model uh, for us. And it will also create this contact um, class. So um, if we expand this uh, customer's EDMX um, file, you'll see that this contact class here is inside of that uh, node. So this is where all our data is at. Now, if you do a select and do a um, find all references you'll see that there's also another instance of it uh, a DB set uh, uh, of type contact which is called contacts and that's the class that actually writes uh, to the database inside of the customers class so um, we're looking in uh, we're in pretty good shape right now uh, so let's take a look at our home controller and uh, actually Let's take a look at our layout. And it uh, looks like we've got an entry here for contact. I'm going to, however, point to the index of it. And, um, and we'll call the uh, controller contact. So here, I can now right click on the controllers and add a new controller and let's call it contact and we do want the MVC controller to read uh, write action and views using entity framework and uh, here it looks like we haven't compiled yet so let's uh, rebuild here first so that we can get um, 
the class um, reference. So let's try again. Contact. And uh, yep, again, this is fine. I'm going to select Contact. And for the data class, I will select Customers. That's the name of our database. And say Add. So notice that all the uh, CRUD operations have been uh, generated for us here, such as create, uh, create post back, uh, delete, uh, delete confirmation, detail, and edit, and the index. So we've got uh, pretty much all the uh, operations um, done here for us uh, using the entity framework. And uh, the only thing left is to rebuild and run. And hopefully we will um, get the uh, result that we're looking for. So uh, here's our uh, application. Uh, if I click on the contact tab, I should get the index, which I do. And I had a single record here which it looks like uh, it's working. So uh, let's try creating another one, uh, another record. Um, first of all, does the validation work? No, it looks like our validation doesn't work yet, so we will have to work on that. Um, let's delete that. Let's create a new uh, record here. Uh, John Doe. Yep, that looks like it's working. How about edit? Let's make it Johnny Robert Dovert. And make it two Main Street and uh, Oklahoma. Uh, okay. Detroit. Uh, uh, Michigan. I don't know what the zip code is there. <laughs> yep, it looks like the edit works also. Uh, how about delete? Yep, it looks like delete is working too. So uh, we're in pretty good shape here, um, basically. The only thing that we're missing is uh, validations. So. Let's stop this application for a second. First thing I want to do here is I want to make sure that this is a required field. And resolve it to the data annotation namespace. And I want to make the uh, first name and last name required as well as, well as the ID. And uh, let's um, rebuild the solution here. Yep, it looks like the rebuild was successful. Let's run it again. All right. Um, so, what if we? Uh, try to do the same and leave it blank again. There we go. So it looks like validation is not working too. And uh, if we add another John Doe here, looks like it's working fine. Um, that's all I wanted to cover uh, with this video. Uh, please subscribe and if you have any comments or questions uh, feel free to leave them. And uh, if you have any suggestions for future videos, uh, please leave those as well. Thank you for watching.